Why did you bring this back to the table? Um, because when I paid the check, she handed them to me. So one for me, one for you. It's a good thing the only thing I have the rest of the day is a spa. Ching ching. Ooh, that's good. That's one word for it. It's, um, I think, agrappa. It's herbal. Oh. Oh. That's one more. But it's reserved. It, this is smoother than what we had the other night. He lies to you on the camera. No, this is good stuff. Okay, I'm gonna give it to him to drink. Oh! Good morning from the Via Francigena. Today adjacent. is adjacent. <laughs> Today is our ninth day on the VF. We had an unplanned rest day, but oh my gosh, was it was amazing. We slept for almost 11 hours after time in a pool and a massage. And we missed dinner, which was fine. Because this morning our hotel had an amazing buffet Wait, for breakfast. They not only did they have an amazing buffet, but they had eggs and bacon. They had scrambled eggs and bacon, which was Crazy. amazing. Uh, cereal, fruit, pastries, cappuccino, all for seven euro a person, which is nice. amazing. It was nice. They had a lot of options that didn't have gluten in them, which was great for me. Um, so today we had a stage that on the VF is how many kilometers was it? Like 20 or 20, yeah, it was quite a few. Or we- could, And was going up and down and up and down and phew. We had to keep our bodies moving, but we had to, but we still have to, um, we're still recovering. From all that up and down of uh, Great St. Bernard, our calves are still just screaming at us. Um, the, uh, the woman giving the massage yesterday made Michelle cry. She did, she did. And uh, I almost cried, <laughs> She did. not gonna lie. Um, but this today, this option to walk this road hasn't not, been bad. Not really an option. Um, it's not listed on the oh, VF app. True. It's not listed in the guidebooks, but it is a popular road cycling route. And, it's, and we found it on Google Maps. It's been very nice because um, I've not felt unsafe. Sometimes no. there's sidewalk like we're on right now. This is about it though. Not much sidewalk. Um, we walked past uh, one village where we got some cappuccino. So we're walking into the village of Varez right now, um, which is the end of this stage. For us, it's gonna be a lunch stop. And then we're walking on past to the next village of Arna, Arnaud, Arnaud. Eh, I don't know if it's French or Italian at this point. Um, and that's where we're staying. So part way into the next stage. Which will be nice because that'll make tomorrow a little shorter. Um, and again, it's just giving us a time to keep moving, but yet still help our legs. It's been flat. It's been nice. It's been very flat. It's been very nice. And now we can smell the lilacs the lilac. and the honeysuckle and the, lavender. and the jasmine and the lavender. Oh my gosh, all the flowers are just beautiful. Yeah. Despite the cars, it's honestly a very nice pilgrimage today. It has been. Our home for tonight, Arnaud. Hey Michelle, there's a self-service laundry in front of us. I have self-service, they're my hands. <laughs> 
We're home. Here's our very nice little room. But let's talk about this view. <laughs> Somebody's a little hungry from their walk today. Yes. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Rose, a peanut wine. Mm. Oh, and it's local. Negroni. <laughs> Michelle, tell me about our first course. We're starting with bruschetta. So, some toast. It's on the antipasti menu. It's got some olive oil. Look at that herb. And the bread. And cheese. And tomato. And oregano. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, it's pasta. Do you know why it's pasta? because we're in Italy. So I have spinach ravioli, and of course, a salad, because we need to eat our greens. Well, we did not expect it to be served in a bread bowl. <laughs> I, did not serve, I did not expect it. And um, Brian is having meat on meat, that's all I know. It's a uh, breaded beef tenderloin with uh, raw ham and pontina cheese, and it's a very Valdosta Valley of the of Aosta style meal, like a farm meal. So and I also have a salad and a bowl. So if you want to know more about how I'm managing my gluten allergy, you can read about it. I have a blog that is entitled Gluten Is Not My Friend. So check it out. That's how we got here to our knot. With this beautifully decorated wall behind us. So one of those is the castle of Verez and the other one is the castle of Arnaud. We might actually go to the castle of Arnaud tomorrow, but I think it's at the top of a very tall hill. We couldn't go to the one at the top of Verez because Verez. Yeah. Um, we saw the reviews and the reviews were like, we walked all the way up here and it's not open. So I'm really glad we that. didn't try. We might, we might do Arnaud. That'll be on the next video if we do that castle. I'm gonna let all of you know now we're not. I saw the hill. I'm going to be hopeful. He can be hopeful. I'm going to be sitting down below waving from above. So let's talk about food here in Arnott. How many times do you want to say so? A few times. <laughs> there are like four restaurants here. And for some reason in this village, they're all closed on Wednesdays. Well, today had, is Wednesday. I had a blog post about <laughs> it's a, the blog post was I'm hungry and I don't want to talk about it because what we had heard was all of these restaurants are closed on either Mondays. Sunday Sunday or Monday. Typically, or both. Yeah, typically Mondays or both. And so we were prepared, like every single time it was a Sunday or Monday, we were like, okay, let's check the map. Let's make sure. We didn't check. We're staying in a hotel, hotel with, with a, restaurant, a restaurant. And they didn't tell us that their restaurant is closed today. So I'm gonna, I'm, we we did this on booking and I'm gonna say that's gonna be part of my review because I think that's important to note that if you're closed on a Wednesday, along with so many other restaurants, it's just unfortunate. We did go to one restaurant and they had food until two, which is great. The restaurant is open but, from noon to two every day. Yeah, it's not helpful for. Um, so we ended up in a bar. Um, not the highest quality food, just like bar food in the United States. But the woman who was serving us was absolutely fantastic. And has been a pilgrim. She walked Siena yes. to Roma. And, She's um, so sweet. And the food was good. It and was, they had, we had local wine. Local wine we made had, here and bottled here in Arnon. Yeah, you had um, some local Kind food. of a farm dinner. Yeah, and then, and then she gave us a digestive that's made locally. So that was and wonderful. And she also taught me how to make the perfect Negroni. So check out our TikTok channel, Cocktails with the Colemans, for that. Yeah, overall, it, it's been a fabulous two days. I can't believe I'm gonna say this right now, but we walked 10 miles and it didn't bother me at all. Which great is today. great because on our Camino training, 10 miles was really bothering us. So I feel like we've really gained a lot. Tomorrow we've got uh, about 10K, 
which is only six miles, which is exciting so that we can hopefully enjoy some of the tourist stuff except anything that's on top of a hill. Well, we haven't said in a while, make sure you like this video, click subscribe, give us some comments below, tell us what you want to see as we continue on the way to Rome. If you're watching this in real time, we know we're blowing up social media, but it is so important that while you're a pilgrim, to just record it as you go, because I cannot tell you what we did a couple of days ago. Oh my ago. gosh. If you're watching, you know what we did a couple of days ago, probably better than us. So thanks for watching, we really appreciate you. See you tomorrow. It's called Genepi. It's a local herbal flower. flower made in this area. Brian says it smells like white lightning. And I just wanted an easy evening. <laughs> but she's walked the Via Francigena, so we got some. <laughs> Mm. 